Hi there, how are you going? Welcome to Tech Talk. Today we're going to be testing, trialing some microphones that we use for motor vlogging. <laughs> when have I ever done a serious video like that? Very rare that I'd do something like that, but pretty cool intro. It's Laz here, and today, like I said in the beginning, we are reviewing microphones. Now, these are three microphones that I have tried and tested some a few times, like I'm talking like a couple of years for this one here that I'm using here. This is ATR 3350 uh, Audio Technica. Cannot fault this microphone, it is my go to microphone. And as you'll see shortly after I change out the microphones and show you, look at it. It's a bit worse for wear, but they're actually really hard to get a hold of now. The first one we're gonna talk about is the cheapest. It's the ECM CS3, sorry. Uh, this is a Sony microphone. Now it is actually a stereo microphone. Now, when I record, I don't actually record straight into the GoPro like a lot of people do. I actually use an external audio device. Um, I'm not here to review those, but if you want, I can show you uh, next time. Basically what I do is I plug it in, then I match up the audio, I do little, thing where I grab the clutch, grab the brake, I go clutch, clutch, brake, brake, and that's what I match up to match my audio and video. Now, this one here is the cheapest one. Now, what I'm gonna do throughout the video is I'll change the microphone from what I'm using now, like I said, which is my good old trusty ATR 3350, and I'll swap them out and you'll see the obviously the corresponding microphones displayed up in the corner here. Um, now this one here is the cheapest one. I picked this up for $16 off eBay. Uh, I looked in the stores here in Australia. Now it is really expensive in Australia for what you're getting. It's the only microphone I have that hasn't got a power source to it. The other two that I've purchased actually have power source, like power units with it, uh, amplifiers if you will. Um, this is the only one I haven't, and I can't really complain with the quality for 16 bucks. In the last video, I did say that I did use a lot of uh, $3 microphones from China. Now, out of probably about seven of those microphones, I had two that were really, really good, and they were just simply like this. No amplifier, no power source, it was just plug and play kind of stuff. This microphone is decent. The only thing is, it records in stereo, so I choose to record mono. And when you go mono, it comes out both speakers anyways, uh, unless you're using the next microphone that I'll be reviewing for you. Um, it, it sucks. And it was the expensive one. This one, you can't go wrong. Now, I did find, you'll see some test videos shortly, guys, of me using them in vlogs. And I'll, as I said before, I'll put the corresponding microphone up top here so you know which one is which. This one would probably be, for the price, not too bad. All you need to do is get the wind noise cancellation things, which is a bit of sponge or a little fluffy stuff, you know. I just call them mic frangers, just in, just in case I'm going off track and I'm like talking about mic frangers. That's what I'm talking about, the little fluffy ball bits that go on your microphones. This would probably perform quite well. Being the fact that it's so close to my mouth, it picks up a lot of wind noise and a lot of, well, I'm very unfit, so it picks up a lot of my breathing and it does crackle and you'll see shortly anyways. Um, but overall for 16 bucks, I can't really complain too much. Um, I quite, it was all right. It's good for the 16 bucks. That's all I can really say. There's nothing really else I can go into detail with this one except for when I had to edit my videos because I don't edit out in you know stereo. I had two audio tracks with this. So it was going into my device and recording stereo, so it had a left speaker and a right speaker audio when I was talking. So to get rid of that, what I basically did was I deleted the right hand speaker, okay, and I duplicated, duplicated the left hand and put that down, so it was just all the one audio. And don't ask me why I did that, but I had to, otherwise I was getting just the one side, which is the same thing I'll talk about shortly. All right, legends, so the next microphone I'm doing, which as you can see, has a lot of cable with it. So you get a lot of length out of this, and this is actually my go-to microphone. This is the Audio-Technica ATR3350. Now these are hard to find. Um, I don't think they actually make them anymore, but as you can see, I've had a few busters, had the uh, cable come out, so I've had to do that up, and it's just 
a knotted mess. To get that undone is just gonna be chaos. But this is the best out of the bikes that I have found so far. Does come, you have to power it, okay? So if it's not on, you're not recording. And I've done that many a time where I've gone out and I haven't put this little nodule here, clicked it up to on, haven't recorded a thing. That's where you get the voiceovers from. But uh, also the other thing you gotta watch out is your battery life too. Now I've left this on for up to nearly two weeks and it still had battery. And I've still managed to get maybe seven or eight vlogs done out of it. It is not too bad. I mean, it doesn't chew the juice, but make sure you turn it on. Now, like I said, the Sony doesn't have a very long cable, as you can see, that's literally not even a meter, okay? This, I think it's about three meters worth of cable, okay? This is all one unit, it doesn't just detach or anything like that, okay? It is all one unit, and the, to get to the battery, you basically, you unwind that, pop the battery out, wind it back up, okay? But out of all of these, this is my favorite one. So, you got your little mic franger on the top there, so a little fluff, that cancels out a lot of wind. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, I picked this up, whew, mate, probably close to maybe two and a half years ago, I picked this up. And this has been my vlogging mic ever since, and I use it for everything else too. So, when I use these for the camera videos, I use this. As you saw earlier, I was using this. This is awesome. This one cost me around back in the day. Don't hold me to it. I don't, I can't remember, but it was around 30 bucks. 30 bucks delivered from eBay. <laughs> can't go wrong with that. For 30 bucks, you get a power unit one, and the quality of it is awesome. As you'll probably tell from the footage before, it was quite clear. I never had any issues with it except for like this, obviously, because. You know, when you're doing an external, I mean, you, you get it when you have it on you, your helmet as well. Sometimes it'll get caught. This got caught on a tree, pulled out and actually stripped a couple of wires. I actually had to dodgily tack it back together, but I still use this one. Uh, it is awesome. Uh, I really can't fault this one. I mean, except for the fact, like I said, you can't get any more. I will link all these microphones in the description below. So if you want to have a look and check them out, I have a link for this one. I do have a link from this one from when I very, very first started. I did up a whole bunch of links of the equipment I use. This was linked. I'll put that up top for you to have a look at as well, okay? I don't think it's this one. I think it's like the ATR 3350S or something like that, I think. Um, I think, don't hold me to it. I haven't actually looked at it for a long time because I've had no need, but it would probably be just the same. And legends, the last but not least, this is the most expensive out of the three microphones that I've ever owned. Okay, now it actually comes in two parts. Okay, you have the amplifier here, okay. It basically is just the power unit. It powers it, it gives it a bit more oomph. Now you can actually use this microphone on its own, just like the Sony. It's not that great though. This actually picks it up and makes it sound a hell of a lot better. The only thing with this one, is it only records mono. And literally, uh, someone did point out that the last couple of videos that I uploaded were mono. I use this microphone, and that is why. To, to get around that, there's a lot of more piss farting around. Basically, you do what I did before. You copy one of the channels, you paste the channel down below, and that kinda fixes it. But if you don't want the messing around, stick with the ATR 3350, the way to go. However, this one isn't too bad. <clears throat> the quality of it, well, the build quality is not, not too bad, but it is just plastic. Now, this one comes with a monster ass clip. Like this clip is, I'll just get rid of that little mic. <coughs> it's a monster of a clip. Look at the size of this clip. And you can't really, it's not really zooming in on it, but that is huge, man. Trying to get that up underneath the helmet was a nightmare. And then see there, the microphone actually sits up higher. Now, the other thing I noticed when using this microphone, as you'll see in the footage shortly, if I don't talk for a period of time or if I'm quiet and then I go to talk and I go, hey, it's just like, whoa, it picks it up and just goes, Boo, and then kind of comes back. This, this kind of like goes, okay, that was too loud. And then it brings it back. So from time to time, you'll get these really loud crackly, Ooh, and it just it wrecks your footage. And that's the reason why I've stopped using this one. Now, not to say that I won't try and, and use this again at, at another stage. Um, obviously, once the ATR 
3350 dies on me or breaks completely and I can't use it anymore, then I'll have no other choice but to use this. I still found the quality of this was better over the Sony. But in saying that also, if you put the little frangers on the sound, like the wind frangers on the, on the microphone, you'd be right. I think that microphone would actually be not too bad. Uh, whereas this one with the amplifier and everything and the fact that it drops out, it only records mono. Now this is, this is what confuses me with this, right? This microphone is basically the same as the ATR30, 3350 minus this box, okay? So it's got another little amplifier. And that me that box is actually metal. This is plastic. I paid more for this, less for that, better quality, better build quality, better performance. I paid $55 for this, okay? And now that's this I actually bought from a store in Australia. So I could imagine you could probably pick this up for around 30, 40 bucks on eBay. Um, just simply for the fact that Australia suck dick. When it comes to electronics, anything like that, we pay through the nose for this stuff, okay? so. My recommendation if you are looking to buy any of these microphones or anything electrical, go online, buy it online. Do not, I mean, it's bad to say it, but don't go to the shop because you will get ripped off, okay? But overall, this microphone, not too bad. Um, yeah, not, not the greatest either, but there you go. Um, I'm gonna jump over now, I'm gonna show you the footage and when we come back, I will uh, let you know in what order, you probably could tell right away what order these were going to go in and what I'd prefer over what I don't and the reasons why because I've just about covered it all here anyways uh, and which ones I'd recommend for you guys if you were wanting to do it and use it for say this purpose, uh, vlog face to face like this, using a DSLR or your yeah, camera and most of these well, so long as you've got the uh, GoPro dongle, you'd be able to use these, plug them straight into your GoPro as well. But yeah, we'll see how we go. Anyway, here's the videos, check them out, and I'll uh, catch you shortly. Cheers. Too bad. Went up there pretty easy. So now, as you can probably imagine, I'm probably not going to use this one for too long because I can guarantee you right now that this is horrible in your ears. I like watching his videos, Mr. Everide, but Mr. Everide needs no introduction. This looks slippery, bro. But um, yeah. And then I looked at another video. That's raining now, you slut. Another video, a flashback to the past. Hey, Legends, how you going? It's Laz, and this is kind of a vlog, but not really. I'm kind of just testing out uh, three different microphones uh, for an upcoming video. But I thought I'd just, uh, might as well uh, have a vlog while I'm testing it. There you go, legend. So there's the test done. Uh, there you go. So you get to see them all in action like this in a closed environment, no wind noise, no nothing. They tend to perform not too bad. Uh, as soon as you go outside and you get that wind noise, there's a clear winner. Uh, also got to get, forgot to tell you, uh, with the AT9993, sorry, you get a pouch, a little, leather pouch, fake leather pouch to put it in. So that's pretty cool too, so kudos for that. However, watching that and, and seeing the, the test done with the wind, the motorbike noise, and that was with an open face helmet. I do have to clarify that as well. That was, a, was an open face helmet. Would vary as well. Like if you had a closed helmet, uh, you'd probably be right. You probably could even get away with using the $16 mic. It will probably do the job quite well not having that wind interference. But generally, I found even with a closed helmet, you will, unless you have like a chin skirt on your helmet, you will get that draft coming up. Um, and yeah, I do find the microphone too close as well. You do need that cover or the little mic franger over it so that it actually stops the, 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 on, the on the actual microphone because you'll get those really deep crackling noises and it's not real good to listen to or to try and edit. Uh, it's not very enjoyable. But overall, um, 
I'll rate them from worst to the best and give you a couple of end reasons as to why I've chosen the way I've gone. So the last one would be the Sony. Sony was probably the worst performer. It was the only one without the battery pack. It was just a standalone microphone plug and play. And it was the only one without the mic franger as well. So if you would put a mic franger on it, I think you'd probably be pretty good in using that one. For 16 bucks, like I said, if you're just starting out, you can't really go wrong with that. 16 bucks off eBay, links down below. Go check it out. Uh, the second one was definitely the AT9993. Uh, it was, the build quality of it was plasticky. It's very, it looks like it's gonna be easy to break. You've also got the fact that you've got an extra plug in there. So you've got your plug into your audio device or, or your camera, whatever way you go with that. Uh, and then you also have the microphone plugged in. So you've got a lot of extra interference there with just the plugs, okay? So I've found sometimes if they're not making a good connection, you'll get a crackling noise sometimes as well. So that's a bit of a downfall for me. It was a powered mic. I do believe you could probably get away with using different microphones into that power input. How it would work, I don't know. I think it would probably, the quality would drop. Uh, the dislike I really didn't like about that was it was on a big clip which can be easily fixed. Uh, the microphone was actually really small uh, and it was very close to my mouth because of the extra height of the clip. Apart from that, decent mic, although being the most expensive, that's not the way I'd probably go. Uh, if I was, especially if I was starting out, I would not go that way. Uh, that's probably a good microphone for doing this kind of thing where you're close. Uh, you'll find out surely if it's mono because, you know, I'm testing it now, so if it's mono, then that's one of the other dislikes that I really didn't like, the fact that you had to do a lot of extra processing or post to actually get it to work properly. And last but not least, as you can probably already tell throughout this video, the one that I favored most was the ATR3350. My go-to one, it is all very well built. You've got a long, long cable. Overall though, I like the build quality, it's all metal. There was no plastic, uh, the only plastic was the clip and that's still going. That, that microphone's been going for nearly two and a bit years now. It has had a rough life, but it is by far the best microphone I've ever had. And it is the one that I'd highly recommend looking at getting. For $30, you could probably pick it up even cheaper now, depending if they still make them. I'm sure if they have discontinued that line, they would have made a, a bigger brother or a smaller brother. However, I do believe from what I can remember seeing, I'm not 100% sure, it is exactly like this one. So it has plug-in amplifier. So therefore you're plugging it into the amplifier and then into your mic, into your mic device, like a recorder or the camera. So that's a little bit of a downfall. There you go guys, so that's it. That's my review, test, and final thoughts on microphones that I've been using for the last two years, two and a bit years. My recommendations are, and like I said, you cannot go wrong with the ATR 3350. That is by far the best one. Hope this was helpful. Any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Uh, if there's anything else you want me to look at, review any of my equipment that I'm using, uh, anything at all, let me know in the, in the comments and I'll, uh, I'll get onto that. But I hope this helped. Uh, thanks very much for watching and hopefully we'll have some more vlogs up soon. Cheers for watching.